cynical, our cleverness hard and unkind. We think too much and feel too little. More than machinery, we need humanity. More than cleverness, we need kindness and gentleness. Without these qualities, life will be violent and all will be lost. The aeroplane and the radio have brought us closer together. The very nature of these inventions cries out for the goodness in men, cries out for universal brotherhood, for the unity of us all. Even now, my voice is reaching millions throughout the world, millions of despairing men, women, and children, victims of a system that makes men torture and imprison innocent people. To those who can hear me, I say, there. Yeah. The misery that is now upon us is but the passing of greed, the bitterness of men who fear the way of human progress. The hate of men will pass and dictators die. And the power they took from the people will return to the people. And so long as men die, liberty will never perish. Soldiers, don't give yourselves to brutes. Men who despise you, enslave you, who regiment your lives, tell you what to do, what to think, and what to feel, who drill you, diet you, treat you like cattle, use you as cannon fodder. Don't give yourselves to these unnatural men, machine men with machine minds and machine hearts. You are not machines. You are not cattle. You are men. You have the love of humanity in your hearts. You don't hate, only the unloved hate, the unloved and the unnatural. Soldiers, don't fight for slavery, fight for liberty. In the 17th chapter of St. Luke, it is written, the kingdom of God is within man, not one man, nor a group of men, but in all men, in you. You, the people, have the power. The power to create machines, the power to create happiness. You, the people, have the power to make this life free and beautiful, to make this life a wonderful adventure. Then in the name of democracy, let us use that power. Let us all unite. Let us fight for a new world, a decent world, that will give men a chance to work, that will give youth a future and old age a security. By the promise of these things, brutes have risen to power, but they lie. They do not fulfill that promise. They never will. Dictators free themselves, but they enslave the people. Now let us fight to fulfill that promise. Let us fight to free the world, to do away with national barriers, to do away with greed, with hate and intolerance. Let us fight for a world of reason, a world where science and progress will lead to all men's happiness. Soldiers, in the name of democracy, let us all unite! Hello and welcome to this class. Are you able to hear me and are you able to see me? Just type out AC in the chat box if all is clear, audio and video is clear. Just type out AC in the chat box. Yes, thank you very much. Firstly, I'd like to acknowledge your presence for this maybe 45 minutes or it might go to one hour. Yes, thank you for giving your time. I think some video is playing, I'll just stop it here. I thank you for giving me your time. You could be doing various other things at this point of time. There are other there are people from other time zones also. I totally respect you. I totally respect you for the choice that you have taken to invest in yourself, right? And um, so now uh, we have maybe a part of it or full of it. You have looked at Charlie Chaplin video. So outside is important. See, all of us feel good when we are any festival. We 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 feel good because we are doing something different from our routine day, like maybe packing for school, packing for office, etc., etc. But we're doing something new, or we're doing something different from our routine day. And hence, we feel good. There are various other reasons also, which I will be going in this uh, in this session itself. Yes, all, the, all of that that we are doing on the outside, it makes us feel good. But even Charlie Chaplin says the same. Internal happiness is important. So inside is also important. How many of you realize that internal happiness or internal our state of being or internally how we are? See, outside the house is clean, outside. I'm not saying you should not wear new clothes or not buy anything. Uh, I will also tell you my own story about that. But more than that, or maybe as much as that, internal is important. If you believe, only if you believe, just type out I, I, I in the chat box. Internal is, or inside is important. I, I, I in the chat box. 
So let me uh, share with you that years together, maybe more than five to six years together, I was in a kind of cocoon where I should, um, I used to think I should not wear new things on festival. Festival, uh, festival shouldn't be just wearing new things and eating new food. So no excitement, no thrill, nothing. I just uh, delve deeper into my own self. Like, why did it come? I used to read a lot. I used to understand um, various other discourses and all. Yeah. So it took it took time for me to understand what is it that we got to do on a festival day, and how can we, just like how we decorate the house, how can you decorate yourself with good virtues? So what happens when you do that? I will be sharing in this today's session only. So it took more than five to six years for sure, but. So um, all through that journey, I wanted to, I just wanted to have this, I had this deep desire. What if everybody does the same? External is important. Uh, see, when I, was, I used to think external was not important. I put it, I just uh, deserted myself from, even when I was in hostel for four years, everybody used to wear new clothes, but I just deserted myself from uh, wearing new clothes, eating good food. Yeah. I, I just used to be, okay, what else, what else should I do? What else should I do? This is not the world. What else should I do? But now I'm stating you that is the world. Outside is important. I've been through that journey where I used to have this false belief that outside is not important. So I don't want you to go that way. That outside is not important. Materialism is not important. We always have to be spiritualistic. No, we have a body. We have a soul. We got to take care of the outside as well as we got to take care of the inside. If you agree, just type out AG in the chat box. You are taking care of the outside by cleaning the house, good food, family, the social feeling when you meet people, new people, even when you have like, uh, yeah, thank you for your responses. So even during these, uh, uh, the little festivals that happen, uh, for example, ladies call each other to uh, give um, uh, Bottu and uh, Tambulam, they say, right? You just feel good because that's a body. I mean, the human craves for, a human being is a social animal, right? So human craves for social uh, relations, that kind of um, chatting together, interacting together. Outside is important. You need not seclude yourself like how I did, like more than five to six years that outside is not important. I should not be doing anything. Yeah, even after marriage, my mother-in-law asked me, why don't you wear new clothes on your birthday? Why don't you wear new clothes on festivals? So actually they had a misbelief that uh, I was negative. I was... I was I used to go against. I was not against uh, birthdays or festivals, but I used to work more into what else is there. This is not what else is there. So you need not seclude yourself, but um, you can. I mean, you can understand how you can give importance to the outside as well as inside. So if you're ready for me to share the content and a good kind of brainstorming among each other, then just type out R in the chat box. Yeah. So I was um, misunderstood that uh, uh, I was a sad soul, sad human, whenever it is my birthday or whenever it's a festival. But I was not a sad soul. I used to think about what else, what else is there, etc. Yes. So let me share my screen. Yeah. So usually what happens, uh, even the, I mean, earlier it used to happen, Buddha sat under a tree and he got um what kind of awareness uh, realization spiritual realization all of that but in this age you know uh and actually krishna is a very good example i mean what krishna preaches is a very good example in this age you need not seclude yourself from the world to dwell inside you can go through all conflicts with people around you you can go through all kind of frictions with people around you with situations around you and still you can dwell deeper in within you so when arjuna was fighting arjuna told no i don't want this land i don't want this uh, the kingdom. I don't want to be the king. I just don't want to fight. I just want to go and seclude myself from all of this and live my spiritual life. But Krishna told no. Don't go, only by doing this kind of dharma. I mean, this is your dharma, your karma. Karma is just the dharma, right? So only when you go through all of this, you will ultimately um, merge into the like. You will understand what spirituality is. So you got to go through the hurts. You got to fight with the fears and doubts and all of that that you have within you. So earlier there were demons and. Um, humans or gods separately but now everything is within us the fears that you have the doubts that you have the lack of confidence the um, i mean uh, some kind of uh, misbeliefs negative thoughts false beliefs all of that are just the demons that are living inside of you so only when you go through all of that you heal all of that you conquer all of that then you realize who you truly are inside and that is spirituality so you need not 
uh, leave all of this or leave your new clothes or uh, whatever it is that you're doing on the outside and only then go into inside. So that was something that I did and I realized that that need not happen. Yeah, sharing my screen right away. So sorry for my intermittent cough. Um, yeah, are you able to see my screen? Just type out yes in the chat box. Yeah. Yes, thank you. <clears throat> so it's a big gala time. I think I've discussed, I put this slide to actually discuss. Yeah, it is a big gala time during festivals. Again, whenever I'm saying you're doing this, never, never take it that it is wrong. I was in that state that it is wrong. Do not take it that it is wrong. Uh, we will actually go into how you can do it on the outside and how you can do it on the inside. Inside is important, I'm saying as well. Doing on the outside is never, never wrong. Yeah. I also had guilt while buying new clothes and all of that. Never, never go into any kind of guilt that, oh, okay, I'm wearing new clothes. It's not something needed. It's not necessary now. No, just to think for yourself. You really need it. You buy it. That's all. Yeah. So let's not go there. Uh, so the, my point is that there's nothing wrong on doing on the outside, but it is important to do on the inside. Yeah. So usually, uh, let's discuss. You can also keep uh, putting in the chat box. The question is, what all do we do on a festival day? Any festival, not just Diwali. What all do we do on a festival day? Uh, we start with cleaning. Even, for example, the Vrat and all that we have, we invite some people, like four or five people, ladies and all. We clean the previous day because the house got to be clean, right? So uh, just you can just ping in the chat box. We clean, we celebrate the festival. Celebrate is a combination of prayer, maybe the family sitting together, Maybe the Ganesha Turti festival, you're all sitting together and uh, doing the puja part or praying. And then we cook new dishes, different dishes. Uh, the dishes could be uh, according to the season in which the festival falls. like uh, And also the history behind that particular festival. For example, for Ganesha Turti, uh, I don't know if you are if you know this or not, I'm not sure. But in Ganesha Turti, there is a, uh, it's, been, it's been coming from ancestors or olden days that uh, you don't, the prasad that we give to Ganesh, is not fried, deep fried or cooked. Without oil, you just make uh, modaks and all, they just make with the uh, hand. So if there is something different in other regions, I'm sorry, maybe I'm not aware of that. But uh, yeah, the point is this. So depending on the festival, depending on the month it falls, depending on the season, the dishes are also made accordingly. Like during Sankranti, if you observe January, it is a very chilled season, right? So they make uh, deep fried items and they use till. They use still in, uh, they call RSLO and even other regions, maybe there are other terms, but usually the um, concept is the same because uh, when you, in chilled season, when you take uh, till, uh, it, uh, uh, what do you say? It compensates the body heat or it keeps it alkaline, something like that. So have you ever heard all of such stories? If you have heard, just type out H in the chat box. Yeah. So celebrate, it's a combination of prayer and maybe doing whatever it is that you're doing, maybe on Diwali, maybe crackers, on uh, Ganesha Turti, maybe the prayer, and even Diwali has prayer, yeah. And then most importantly, we spend time with family. Every day, might, might be, uh, like each one is doing their own stuff, so maybe you're not sitting together. So on festivals, you will take that time to sit with family, yeah, to sit with family, and then you are meeting new people on breath, you call people, you are also going to other people's house, yeah, that is because we feel good because human is a social animal. We got to have that social interactions and you feel good when you speak to people in a different emotional state. So if you just observe the emotional state or the mental state of all your family members, not just you, on a routine day is different from that you have on a festival day. If it is different, just type out D in the chat box. The mental state and the emotional state matters. Just type out D in the chat box if you think that it is different. So just because the mental state and emotional states are different, you behave differently. You feel good when you just gather around and uh, do whatever you're doing together. Right? And on the other days, the mental state and emotional state is a, maybe going a little rushy, a little low, a little a disappointment or whatever it is, however it is going. That is the reason our behavior also is different. So the behavior is coming from the mental state and emotional state, right? Yes. Thank you for your responses. And uh, what happens the next day? What happens the next day? We get back to our usual routine. Or for some people, 
even on that day itself, maybe by evening or by afternoon, some kind of venting out comes out like this is not happening, that is not happening, etc. etc. So I've also been through such experiences. So again, that used to trigger a thought. We have prayed in the morning. Are we practicing? Are we implementing that prayer? That is the meaning of festival, right? Like whatever religion, whatever region, whatever scripture you take. Uh, like Charlie Chaplin also quoted an example that um, in, I don't know the paragraph number, but just God exists in every being is what is coming from Bible. And in um, uh, Sanskrit, in Vedas, Sahasra Sirsha Purusham. Sahasra Sirsha Purusham, meaning God does not have a thousand heads, but God lives in every thousand, every each of the thousand heads that are surrounding you. So we pray in the morning or wherever you are doing. And then just after that, just after the first family gathering, just after the social gathering, again going back to the earlier uh, low mental state, low emotional state, where did we practice that prayer? Where are we implementing that prayer? Whatever prayer you take, uh, whatever breath you take, uh, the lines that are written and all of that, just implement one or two lines of it, you feel good. Again, the mental and emotional state changes. Then the behavior changes, right? So even on the same day, um, some, some of us go low, on the next day, obviously, we come back to our usual thing. So if you are with me until now, just type out WY in the chat box. WY is with you. You are muted, Sujaya. Yeah, thank you. So where did all the prayer go? That is just about praying. Pray is just one component. Yeah, I just put that in the chat box so we can you can also uh, discuss something from whatever we do. Maybe if you have something more, you can just put it in the chat box. Yeah, pray is just one component of it. Now again, let's come back from cleaning. Yeah. Okay. I'm going. I'm just a second. Just a second. Okay. So let's come back. Thank you for your time. Yeah. So let's come back. So we have been doing clean, celebrate, cook, pray, and all of that. So why do we do? So why do we clean? Let's go back. Why do we clean? We clean because when there is a cobweb at the corner, there is a spiritual reason as well as a physical reason. Yeah, it doesn't look good. It's a physical reason. People are coming home. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't uh, generate those good vibes. But again, spiritually speaking, when you move an item, uh, I mean, you take a broom and you do this, right? And even in the morning, uh, early, olden days, the first thing they used to do is go outside the house and sweep everything with a broom. So those movements, the sound and the movements, is kind of removing the old energy and that the space that is created is welcoming the new energy from from where from universe around everywhere there is energy right around you everywhere there is energy so when you remove a cobweb or when you uh, clean the shelf that you have or when you clean your wardrobe you are removing the redundant stuff you are making space for new energy to come in right and then the next one is celebrate so we celebrate because maybe we've been taught to celebrate meaning uh, burst crackers or uh, do this puja or whatever it is like taught meaning whatever has been coming from family from ancestors we just do that we just do that we don't think much we just do that and cooking yes there is importance on in cooking like uh, uh, so and so dishes you have to make for the god or goddess and all uh, depending on the season again as i told you and then pray you feel good when you are praying in a group because the group vibration increases yeah some of you who are in my morning rituals also we know that the group vibration matters right so when you're praying together on Ganesh Purti festival or even Diwali, the entire family sitting together and you're playing, praying together, the group vibration increases and the vibration in the house also goes better, like uh, improves, increases. And then spending time with family and social gatherings, yes, man is a social animal, so we, got, we do feel good when we meet others. Now, yeah. So how can we do all of this internally? Yes. So how can we go back, clean, celebrate, cook, pray, spend time with family internally? 
Yes. Now let's look at each of the things. So first thing, why should we do that? Yeah, even before looking at each of these things, why should we do that? There's a, again, I'll be, I'm going to be explaining a concept. Just type out why in the chat box. Just type out why in the chat box if you want to know more. Why should we clean ourselves internally? <laughs> Yeah, so uh, the, okay, let's see this example. There's a particle, there are, there's a wave, and the wave has particles, infinite particles. We cannot count how many particles we have in the wave, right? So there is a wave all around the universe. There is a wave, and there is a particle. So the wave is moving this way because the particle that is inside the wave is vibrating this way. And the wave will be moving this way because the particle inside this wave is vibrating this way, right? So every particle vibrates, every cell within your body vibrates. So however the particle is vibrating, the wave is moving. Now, if you are complaining that uh, why is the wave moving this way? I expected the wave to move this way. You got to look at the particle which is vibrating. What is the frequency? What is the angle? What is the direction? And why is the direction that way? Okay, it could matter like beach waves. It could matter that the wind is blowing that wave that way. So external, uh, outside, like outside world, right? So for us, we have an outside world, and if something is going in a certain way, like we are behaving in a certain way, or we are responding to others' behavior in a certain way. Yeah. So we are doing that because internally we are vibrating at a certain frequency, at a certain angle, with either hurts or wounds or uh, misbeliefs or negative thoughts, whatever it is. Right? When we move according to how we are vibrating inside of us. So why is internal cleaning important? Because, see, outside you are cleaning, the energy is taken care of. Like, um, yeah, you are removing the redundant stuff, whatever cobweb or uh, utensils or clothes or whatever it is, and you are making space for new stuff. So why do we have to clean inside? When you are cleaning your inside, you are removing those misbeliefs, fears, doubts, lack of self-confidence, what if, why is the other person always complaining at me, etc., etc. You are making space for new energy to come in. When you do that, the vibration of your inside changes. And when the vibration of inside changes, how you behave changes and how you react to others' behavior changes. Don't you think these two are the most important in life? How you behave and how you react to others' behavior. Yes, if they're important, just type out IMP in the chat box. How others behave, how others behave is not important. How you react to others' behavior is important. Right? How do you take it? How you how can you keep yourself from not effect not getting affected? Yeah. So that person is always shouting, what can I do? But I can I can do I mean I can learn how I can stay not affected by that shout. Right? So two things that are important: how I behave and how I react at other people's behavior. How other person behaves is not my cup of tea, right? How I react, how I respond, that is important. Yes, thank you for your responses. So that, I mean, this internal awareness can happen when you are, again, how you are vibrating inside of you changes. And when that has to change, you got to realize what is, what are you carrying clean? And uh, the next step is, okay, the next step was celebrate, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's talk about celebration now. So, again, all of us have, uh, we feel that we are not, uh, we are not important, or at the end of the day, we feel that I've done so much, but it doesn't work out, or uh, we put ourselves low. Again, uh, the word humble has been taught to us as you shouldn't praise yourself. It is not about you shouldn't praise yourself. Please appreciate yourself. Please praise yourself. Please keep talking to you, talking to yourself that you are awesome. You have done an amazing job. Somehow we've been taught that you shouldn't praise yourself. Other people is more than you. I mean, other people is great. Other person is greater than you. Other person is more important than you. You should always praise the other person. You should always feel low about you, though it is not taught in that line. But somehow we feel guilty when we are praising ourselves. Humble is not about keeping yourself low. Humble is about uh, keeping the other person high. And when that happens, uh, no, that happens only when you keep yourself high. When you are raising your self-value, when you are raising your self-worth, 
you will start to look at each other person's value and worth. Right? So again, internal reflects on the external. So when you are valuing yourself, that is a celebration that you got to make of your presence. See, you are here in a family, how much your parents have been happy when you were born. Not just parents, every you could have you would have changed the environment in the entire household, grandparents, uncles, aunties, so many people. You brought joy to all of them. Just imagine how much joy you have brought when you were born. Can we bring so much joy even at this moment to the outside people? We can when we realize that, yes, I am valuable. I do matter. Yeah, I am a worthy person. But we don't speak that way to ourselves, right? Or if the other person is more greater, no, I, I think I should become a little low and then speak to them the next time. That created a fight. So, okay, I shouldn't speak that way. No, but you are a valuable person. Right? Just type out IAV in the chat box. IAV is I am valuable. Just a second. Yes, IAV, I am valuable. So you, when you start to value yourself, you will start to value the other person and not give importance to that person's behavior or shout or fight or conflict. Right? So when you are not giving importance to the fight, but you are actually valuing their presence, the way you respond to their behavior changes. So going back, two things, how you behave and how you respond to the other person's behavior. These two are important, right? So even for you to uh, learn how you can better respond to other person, you want to value yourself, celebrate yourself. That comes in celebration. So in the workshop, what I'm saying is, I'll take you through detailed exercises. There will be, um, um, I mean, you don't have to just sit, listen to me and then go back uh, and practice them. We will have practice exercises even during the session. First thing is we will go through cleaning, internal cleaning. You know, how do you remove those hurts and wounds? And then you celebrate yourself. Celebrating meaning how do you realize your value? How can you improve your self-worth? Yeah. And another thing is, uh, for example, I am the best, uh, this just a statement, I am the best employee in my company, for example. You got to speak to yourself. I'm the best. Uh, I'm the. I mean, I'm the best mother, or I'm the best father, or I'm the best employee, or I'm the best. You can. You can speak that to yourself. But what happens? We get some kind of guilt, and then you. Why we get that guilt, and uh, why you need not get that guilt? So again, it has been ingrained in our mind that maybe during because of the educational system or the society or whatever it is that if you have to be the best, the other person has to be the worst or worst or a little low. Right? So when you are saying, I am the best employee, that means the other employee is not the best. No, you need not get into that thought. You can be the best as well as the other person also can be the best. Let me ask you this question. Uh, you have two children. Yeah. So you are looking at the first child. Uh, you somehow adore that child. Uh, you're just going through all the memories that you had with that child. I love my child the best. You thought, I love this child the best. Or, I love this child the most. And then another day you are looking at the second child. Yeah. You are looking at the second child. The second child is doing something. You are again getting some memories of the second child, however you have spent, how happy you were when the child was born, etc. I love this child the most. So do you compare this love that this is this most love is more greater than this most love? Doesn't happen, right? If you agree, just type out AG in the chat box. You do love this child the most, you do love this child also the most. You cannot compare infinity with infinity. You cannot compare abundance with abundance, right? Just because you say, I love this child the most, uh, it is not true that I love this child the, a little lower. Just the perspectives are different. The angles are different. Uh, the, the experiences that you had with this child are different. The experiences that you had with this child are different, right? The same way, when you are the best employee, you are the best mother, it doesn't mean that the other employee has to be a little low. So, okay, how can I do more and the other person do less? That, that may not happen. Somehow it has come from the rat race or from the educational system. Yeah, you cannot compare infinity with infinity or the best attributes, right? So every day, if you are saying that, uh, so it, the exercises, I will teach you how you can keep telling yourself that, uh, I mean, not just telling, telling and writing, and I'll make you do, go through certain experiences or certain exercises. Saying, I am the best, uh, whatever it is, every role that you are playing, right? And also, God does not see that 
uh, this person is less abundant and that person is uh, more abundant. Universe also doesn't work that way. Abundance is abundance. You cannot compare one abundance with another abundance. Actually, all the scriptures also teach that you are also abundant. You are also abundant. And you also can become abundant. So that way, uh, usually what happens because of some kind of misbeliefs, we think ourselves low. So that is the whole point of realizing your value, your worth. Just a second, I'm on the right. Yeah. Realizing your worth, your value. How can you improve your self-worth, self-respect? And that will that will also impact on how you are looking at other person and how the other person is looking at you. When you are valuing yourself, the other person starts to value you. Yeah. If you agree, just type out AG in the chat box. When you are valuing yourself, the other person starts to value you. When you yourself are not valuing yourself, for example, you've taken up a new habit, uh, yoga or uh, writing something or whatever it is, when you do not value what you have taken up, it is very easy for the other person to say, it's okay, you will start, you keep starting something, you don't you don't finish it or maybe dieting. How many times we hear people or friends sharing that, oh, this person is always like that. He just says that he won't eat this, 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 but he will uh, continue to keep eating and then he'll come back to diet and then he'll continue eating and then he'll come back to diet. So why is this happening? Because whoever is wants to create a change, we don't we don't uh, value ourselves. We don't value our choices. We don't value our decisions. That is, I mean, that is creating a lack. And the other person also does not value what we say and how we live or what we decide. Yes, just looking at this. Yeah, thank you for your responses. So now moving on, the next step is I'll go to the. Uh, I mean, um, I think I pitched in the comment box, right? So every step that we have, uh, where was that? Clean, celebrate, cook, pray, spend time. I come until celebrate. Yeah. So cooking. Cooking, I think uh, it's not a cooking class. But I will just go deep into why we are offering. What is the right way to cook? What is the right way to offer food to the divine God? And what is the right way to eat? Mindful eating. I will cover um, that as well. Yes. Um, and what we make in all, I think it's region based. Uh, each one has their own recipes, each one has their own, according to the season, according to the climate and all, you have your own dishes. But the way is, how do you cook? What kind of thoughts, even while cooking, the thoughts that you have get transferred to the dish that you are making. So that is the reason we have this quote, you are what you eat. Even in uh, Hindi uh, joke, uh, I, don't, I don't get that. Even in Telugu, there is a similar quote, you are what you, are what you eat. I don't uh, recall both of those statements, but just yesterday I heard the telephone time also. Yeah. So because every thoughts, every thought that you are carrying, even while cooking, so, yes, offering sorry, other people, can you say that uh, Telugu uh, thing for uh, this way? What is that uh, for eating? What's that uh, saying? I want to. Yeah, that's what I, I can't recall. I know one rupee maple maple rupee something. What you eat? That uh, become you. Mm -hmm. If it is so, I just wanted to know what you oh, got. Okay. Yeah. So what I am sharing, you are asking. The uh, the saying about the. Food. Yeah, the Telugu saying, right? Yeah, I don't yeah, recall. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll put it in the group. I don't recall. Yeah. Not just yesterday I heard, but I don't recall. So what I'm saying is uh, every scripture, every region has their similar quotes because the teachings are the same. Maybe the language is different. Maybe how they do it, how they implement is different. But the teachings, the values that have been passed from our ancestors are the same. So it is about cooking. That is, uh, I will be going deep into uh, how you cook, not what you cook, not a cooking class. How you cook, how you offer it, how you uh, eat it, how you offer it to your family members, etc., etc. And then praying. We do pray to God. But are we implementing that prayers is the whole question. So in praying, I uh, I will be taking you through a guided uh, prayer to the divine, the divine prayer. Uh, so I will be touching upon uh, what exactly you should be talking when you are communicating through a prayer. So when you are praying, you are communicating, you are talking to the universe, you are talking to God, or whatever you want to call it, divine or God or universe or whatever it is, right? And when you are talking to universe, it is coming from you. So how should you be so that you can talk uh, the 
in the right way, not the right stuff, but the right way, just the intentions, the vibrations, the feelings and all of that. So the universe gets it right because the intentions are important, right? So that is about uh, what we will, uh, what I will take you through in a prayer. Yes. And then spending time with family, that is very important, which I will, I mean, man being a social animal, we feel good when we are speaking to other people, when we are interacting with other people. I will touch upon this in the last, uh, towards the end. So let's move ahead to energy. So you maybe you have heard a lot about energy, maybe from other sources, maybe from me also. But um, energy is everything that there is uh, to anything in this universe, not just a human being, everything. See, for example, this is a book. So the book is of this shape because the energy of this book, energy meaning the particles in this book are vibrating in a certain way. So going back to chemistry, why is a solid a solid? Molecules, atoms, yeah, if you remember, why is a liquid a liquid? Again, the molecules, atoms are vibrating in a certain way that it is fluid. Gas, why is a gas a gas? I mean, why is carbon dioxide a gas? Because the atoms, the molecules, the particles within it are vibrating in a certain way. So why is this a solid? Why is this a book? Because the particles inside it are vibrating in a certain way, even the earphones or whatever you see around. So any energy is everything that there is to everything that uh, everything in the universe, not just human being. So when you are cleaning yourself up, when you are celebrating, realizing your value, you're uh, increasing your value uh, such that the other person starts to value you, your energy is shifting. And again, going back to where we started, just the energy shift shifts your behavior. Uh, like the statement, uh, going back to where we started, just your mindset and your emotional state, mental state and emotional state, when that shifts, how you behave is changing. Not just you, the entire family members, right? On a routine day, the mental state and emotional state are different. On a festival day, they are different. That is the reason the behavior is different. So we might be thinking that, okay, if it's a, just because it's a festival, that, that person is not getting angry, right? But their emotional state was different because uh, they're maybe looking forward to a festival, looking forward to celebrate, cook, spend time with, that's, everything is good, everything is needed, right? So that has created a, um, I mean, their thoughts have created a shift in their emotional state and their behavior is different. Again, the next day starts, maybe going back to hurry, going back to uh, just, uh, I mean, speaking unknowingly in a state of unawareness, fights, friction could happen. So so it boils down to what kind of energy you are carrying, with, right? And uh, for you to, so uh, taking up new habits or whatever it is that you want to take up, maybe a new job, new career, what else I can do? Just a thought of what else I can do what new i can do that is that comes under creation i'm not sure if you know or not it is about creating because you have to create a new thought here yeah if you got it just type out gi in the chat box anything taking up a new habit new action new thought all of that comes under creation you have to create a new thought you have to create a new action maybe taking up that habit or starting to learn about okay what kind of career i can take okay what else is there okay what else is there that comes under creation so yeah just seeing if you can uh, if you are with me yeah so in order for you to have creation kind of energy where you are creating something for yourself and you're doing that you're also creating something for your family in order for you to have creation kind of energy you cannot be carrying the hurt energy false beliefs fear doubt lack of confidence or um, this doesn't work or things doesn't work out for me etc that kind of energy you cannot stay in this low energy and still create something for yourself. If you got it, just type out GI in the chat box. Yeah, if you got it, just type out GI in the chat box. So for you to, and I'm sure we all want to create, you want to stay in the creation energy, right? You uh, see, even when you are uh, giving birth to a child, you feel so happy because that is, again, that also comes under creation, procreation, they call, right? That is also creation energy. So that is a part of our journey of taking birth in a, as a human, that uh, we are also giving birth to a human. But apart from that, even mentally and emotionally, you got to create. So you will be having that creation energy only when you heal and make space for new energy to come, right? So this was about energy. I put up the slide of energy because you got to understand that you should be, if, if in order for you to create something new for yourself, yeah, something that you want to start up, anything that you want to take up, 
you got to create space within yourself to invite that energy to welcome that energy it's always there it's always present even about you around you all around they say right god is all around you god is above you god is inside you outside you within him that's energy right so that energy is ready the universe is ready to pour that energy within you into you but when we do not have the space when we are blocking that energy with our hurts wounds or <coughs> sorry for that fear doubt uh, whatever it is that you are carrying inside we are blocking that energy to come in right it is ready and then again we are complaining that things don't work out or universe is always like so god is always like this i got to go the hard way doesn't happen once we create the space for the energy to come into you it is ready to come into you right i mean universe doesn't discriminate that okay i should not be going into this person or i should be going into this person universe doesn't discriminate right god doesn't discriminate so you will also learn take go through certain exercises about how you can make those energy shifts again everything is nice during the class everything is nice or that day everything is nice another day your energy is low you will also learn how you can shift your energy when your energy is low when you are actually speaking to a person who is maybe shouting at you yelling at you arguing with you how can you keep up your energy levels because that is important right as long as we are together yes everything is going fine but after this after the two day two days classes what what i mean how you can keep up yourself is a important point so you will also learn how you can step up your energy i mean work on your energy to keep it up to the however you desire creation energy or uh, whatever you want to manifest yeah and uh, just because yeah okay i'll put it in the next slide the next thing are you with me or am i going overboard if you are with me just type out wy in the chat box there is another there are another uh, one two three four five six 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 points maybe um, yeah just type out wy in the chat box if you are with me yeah thank you so i don't know i i would like to keep it short so that i don't bore people but in everything i uh, it takes me going deeper into each thing and it's already 10:45 now okay so the next step is how you can shift from being past present to future present what do you mean by that what do i mean by that so past something has happened present in this moment if you actually see yesterday maybe you had a phone call with your any anybody family member or friend or mother in law sister in law brother in law whoever it is morning you wake up that conversation that you had in the phone call keeps running in your mind if it happens to you just type out h in the chat box if it happens to you just type out h in the chat box yes whatever happened yesterday whatever happened day before yesterday whatever happened day uh, two days back or five days back yeah the mind is that way it lives on your past memories so the present you are uh, i mean we are losing out an opportunity of the present moment yeah we are not aware being aware in the present moment so it's like uh, you've been writing a book until now you've written like uh, 20 chapters and then you are writing 21st chapter and uh, when you are writing 21st when you are in the 21st the page uh, of the 21st chapter instead of writing the 21st chapter you are continuously reading 1 to 20 chapters the reading and reading and reading time is just going away right we are not making use of that time of the present moment right so the moment that you have now is the seed that you are sowing for the future to happen let me tell you the moment that you are having now is a seed that you are sowing for the future to happen the future is a, imagine it's a tree the tree is coming from the seed that you are sowing now from the thoughts that you have in the present moment so when the present moment uh, when you are again sowing the same tree that was yesterday tree or uh, the seeds that are coming from that tree uh, there is no much change right we are just dwelling on the previous tree on the previous chapter on the previous memories on the previous experiences where I, when, when do you have time to create new experiences for yourself all of us want to create uh, i don't i'm not sure if you are getting the right meaning of creation but we do we i mean human being a soul not just human being the soul thrives on creation we want to keep creating that is the reason when you are even cleaning your house you feel good because you have created new space yeah the soul the spirit thrives on creation and uh, the next step is manifestation what you have in your mind the desires that you have in your mind you should make them true right and um yeah so uh 
how you can you shift yourself from being past present to being present and then future present future present meaning how you can be in the present so that you create your reality in the future right so that is that brings to this concept where thoughts are things for example whatever see this book was just a thought in somebody's mind and that became a thing right can i share uh, my journey this year if you if i can just type out pg in the chat box pg is permission granted because we are speaking about thoughts are things or the phone it was just a thought in somebody's mind or whatever einstein has created um, bulb or whatever it is it was just a thought in somebody's mind just the uh, you getting that thought it can come into reality is a whole concept thoughts are things whatever thought you have so when i told you that yeah thank you for your permission when i told you that you, all your thoughts are going in the first to 20 chapters that is what is again repeating 21st chapter to 22nd chapter because thoughts become things right so uh, i have also been going through the entire training and forgiving and all of that as uh, some of you know and uh, in the first 7 months of this year whatever every month i had a goal so 7 months seven things got manifested for me whatever i have been uh, have kept thinking and uh, even like uh, this month october uh, i had something in my mind and that also came into reality so what i'm saying is there is nothing that you cannot create you can create what you have in your mind you just have to create uh, i mean create the space to invite the energy to help you create that right so i did a uh, rigorous um, uh, many exercises on the internal work internal work inner work i mean because see for anything for anything for uh, for you to manifest anything inner work is important outer work is important mostly what do we do we do outer work and then we feel okay no matter uh, how much ever we do doesn't doesn't work out doesn't help me i'm always like this or things always don't turn out to be good etc etc or we do the inner work or maybe we see people doing inner work like praying every day to god inner work prayer also is inner work right and then we have mis beliefs that okay just if you pray you get that okay just if you uh, have some uh, breath you get that okay just if you have some uh, whatever it is you get that maybe as children you also had those thoughts when our parents were doing your parents were doing something in the in the puja room maybe okay just if you pray you get that anybody got those thoughts uh, those doubts just type out d in the chat box if you got those doubts yeah so inner work and outer work in the right way with the right intention raising your belief all of that is important right so how uh, that will create your reality whatever you have in mind you should be feeling you should believe that yes you can get right so that brings to this statement what you seeking is seeking you so if you when you are seeking a new job when you are seeking a new career or whatever it is a new habit or a new personality or a new uh, any change that you would like to bring in yourself that also is seeking you because only because it is seeking you only because universe wants to bless you with that you even got that thought try to understand the statement right only because universe also is ready to bless you with that you it gave you the thought it is not our uh, greatness to got to having for having gotten that thought universe itself plants that thought actually that okay you can do this so what you seek is also seeking you but only when you allow it to come into your life by making space by clearing those uh, when piled up emotions uh, the feelings that are not serving you Uh, to forgive yourself to clean yourself to heal yourself only when you do that you are creating space to allow that to come into your life right if you have got it just type out gi in the chat box what you seek is seeking you yes thank you thank you for your response so this was this is what where i wanted to show share uh, what do we do on a festival on the outside on the outside yes we are cleaning we are creating space for new things to come in maybe you are removing the old torrents which are dusty you are bringing in new torrents uh, yeah etc whatever it is that you are doing replacing some stuff removing some stuff uh, buying new stuff to decorate the house 
decorate yourself. It could be anything like right? you can be replacing your clothes, old clothes with new clothes, or maybe you are just removing old clothes, maybe you are getting new clothes, even not just for yourself, for your family, for the household, everything, right? Even for the house. So cleaning, it brings us joy. So when you look at a neat wardrobe, you feel very good. When you look at an overflowing wardrobe, it creates a lot of chaos in your mind, a lot of confusion in your mind. And uh, then we do, uh, we celebrate. I just went through this uh, earlier. So this is just a, a kind of comparison that we do, uh, that I'm doing on the outside. And this is on the inside, the cleaning that you got to do on the inside. So just when you're doing it on the outside, you feel so joyful looking at a neat kitchen, neat wardrobe. How much joy you would be feeling when you clean your inside? Wouldn't it be wonderful? Just type out W in the chat box if it's wonderful or amazing A or excited E. Yeah. Are you excited to do something like this? If you're excited, just type out E in the chat box. Just by changing something in the house, like you just uh, remove this corner table from one corner of the house, just clean up that corner and you shift that to another corner of the house. Just that brings you joy. Have you ever experienced this? I mean, just shifting some things within the house, it somehow shifts the energy that brings you joy somehow. Uh, you, uh, it, feels, uh, it feels different. Yeah, it feels good. The outside feels different. You feel different inside. So when just a little shift on the outside is bringing you so much joy, how much joyful, how much fulfilling, how much satisfying you will feel inside when you work on your inside and how much you will be attracting how much you will be manifesting for yourself whatever you would like to have in your life right so that is the important stuff cleaning yourself thank you for your response viraj bachala shyamala yeah so celebration as i told you yeah we you will i will uh, take you through exercises i will take you through guided meditations there are multiple guided meditations uh, even the divine prayer is going to be a guided uh, meditation kind of thing uh, it, the, the, uh, it's a two day workshop so three hours on each day, and uh, I will take you through exercises and guided meditations. It is not going to be just a theory class. It's not just. It is not like it will not be like how I am doing it now. There is no one way communication. You will have to sit there and do something that I ask you to do, and uh, also go through the healing. There will be healing meditations and all of that. So that will also be there. And then I'll teach you. Yeah, take you through exercises where you will start to celebrate yourself. Your presence on this earth matters. You matter to your children. You matter to your family so the question is did i matter today towards the end of the day what you got to ask you is did i matter yes you mattered it's not that you did not matter did i matter meaning you are provoking thoughts which will trigger in you how can i be of more importance if you were to be of more importance to others you got to be more importance of to yourself right so you will start to value yourself you will start to raise your self worth your importance so that comes in celebration i'll take you through that journey and then cooking, as I told you, how the thoughts, the feelings, the emotions, all of that impact the food. How do we offer to the God? Why do we offer to the God? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera, right. And then prayer. I will take you through a guided meditation of uh, divine prayer. Yeah. So it is not about any religion. It is not about any region. It is not about any scripture. But uh, purely soul to soul. That's all. Right. Spirit to spirit. Your spirit has divine energy, and there is divine energy everywhere in the universe. How do you communicate? What do you communicate? How do you pray? How do you make? I mean, how do you make yourself eligible to receive the blessings? That's all. Purely soul to soul. Nothing about. So if you have any physical favorite God, you can bring that in your mind. But I won't be going that way. And then spending time with family, I put that towards the end because that is very important. So when you meet other people. You feel very elated. You feel joyful even during Vrat when you're meeting other ladies in the community. People are coming to your house. Uh, you feel very joyful. Yes. So um, now there is another angle to look at it. Yeah. So sometimes when you just even just think about uh, think to yourself, we strive to be with other people, to invite other people, to go to other people's house. Strive meaning because it it makes us feel joyful. We kind of create events for that. Right? I mean, um, we celebrate something, we go there, we come, uh, people come to our house. So, our thought process, the perspective through which you are looking at, maybe um, bringing new people or going and meeting new people. Now, let me give you another perspective where 
you are refining yourself so much you are cleaning yourself so much that other people want to be with you you are becoming a magnet to other people isn't it a powerful state to be in if you think that is powerful just type out p in the chat box so there are some spiritual gurus and spiritual persons everywhere around the world other people thrive i mean uh, that they actually struggle to go and meet them and you feel so good meeting them even these celebrities right some people are some people really are fans i mean you admire what they do it's not wrong nothing is wrong and you you want to go there you want to meet them right so what is that equation the difference and equation that is happening between the routine thinking and the other kind of thinking where the other kind of perspective where i refine myself so much that others love my company others want to be with me the other people it's not that uh, it's not selfish it's not greedy but you uh, uh, other people want to maybe learn from you oh my god how are you able to manage so much yeah some question because you have refined yourself you are managing so much uh, that attracted the other person to observe you and the other person is wants to learn from you how are you doing that it could have happened to you or maybe when you were in school when you were in college at some other any other point of time yeah but just bring in this perspective where it is not just about you craving to create events and that is also important again do not uh, do not uh, think that is as low that as low but what is more important is how you can become a magnet for people to come to you right how you can refine yourself that other people just love their love your company they want to learn something from you etc etc so that is a true meaning of um, man is a social animal where we is we feel joyful when we are meeting other people but we also got to work on our inner self where we are spreading joy we are spreading love whoever comes to you uh, they somehow they get some good vibes yeah they they feel good about the time that they spent with you does it happen in a temple does it happen with any spiritual guru maybe you are following you can just share your examples or your experiences maybe just on youtube when you are looking at something uh, a spiritual guru speaking you feel so good you feel so elated yeah because the love that they emit the energy that they emit they spread joy they spread love that, that is what is hitting you so when you are speaking from a love perspective that is what you are emitting the other person feels very good when you uh, when they are in their in your company so now how many of you uh, would want to know what is it that you will exactly do on these two days 3 hours on each day day 1 day 2 3 hours on day 1 3 hours on day 2 yeah there is a lot of information that uh, i will be um, a lot of exercises i will be giving you so how many of you felt this one hour was valuable uh, and you got more than what you expected just i got more in the chat box if it was valuable just i got v in the chat box did i give more did i give more value than what you expect because that is what i strive for whatever people are having in their mind and coming to me i should give more to them that is what i keep thinking that you should feel you should i mean you should have spent good time right so yes thank you yes yes thank you for your response thank you shamala so definitely the two days also will be more valuable than what you invest again there is an energy exchange it is a paid workshop and uh, the amount uh, is for like Three day, three hours. It might go a little more than three hours also on the first day and three hours on the second day. Now coming to money, if you have some kind of thoughts that oh my god, I don't want to put that money here, I don't want to put that money there, it is just about self introspection. If you really believe, only then you invest and uh, believe what believe what you can do and what you can what you need not do the redundant stuff. Uh, then actually, if you come to the materialistic world, the uh, how much we spend on home, how much we spend for ourselves. uh it is just a fraction of it again this is not it i'm not saying this is not important i'm not saying this is only important but it is just about how you introspect how you look at each each of these things right so again it's uh, you should never feel guilty about uh, uh okay i got a sari of 2000 or 3000 and then you will feel guilty about why did i spend so much on sari no if you really want to spend so much you can spend so much don't ever, don't ever feel guilty about the money that you put out right and uh, so i would be okay so do you want to know what is there in the day, uh, day one and day two if you are ready just type out r in the chat box yes thank you for being with me 
So it will definitely be more than what I have written here. Yeah. So the first day, the theme is cleansing and celebrating. Yeah. Cleansing and celebrating and making space for new things. Just be with me. You need not read all uh, whatever I've written. I'll take you through. So the first day, it's about healing your pain body. Again, a guided meditation or an exercise, what uh, I will make you do. Realizing your self-worth. When you value yourself, you are celebrating your presence. When you celebrate yourself, the other person is celebrating being with you. Oh my God, I feel so good when I'm with my mother. Or the friend is feeling so good when she's with you because they celebrate their time that they be with you because you celebrate your presence, right? And uh, guided meditations will be there on both the days. And uh, these are a little deeper exercises which I will take you through. So it mean it uh, it might not be there in writings here. And then the next day the theme is channelize and recreate the space that you have created. Yeah, how can you channelize that energy? The energy that you have now see. Uh, when you have uh, lesser clothes in your wardrobe, okay, when the wardrobe is overflowing, you spend more energy to find the right kurta for yourself. When you have made space in the wardrobe, you spend a lesser energy, just the required amount of energy to pick that kurta and wear it for yourself. So what happened? Some amount of energy was saved. So how can you channelize that energy? So when you have cleaned yourself, there is you are constantly drawing spiritual energy inside of you. How can you channelize that energy and create something that you really desire? Right? So for that, for what you desire to come to you, you have to raise your deservedness, meaning you should really believe that okay, I can get it. Right? Okay, I can uh, it is my job to do it. Or universe has created me, or I was born here only to do that. So that is how you raise your deservedness. I deserve it. When you are inside, I mean, internally you're feeling, no, 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 I don't think I deserve it. No, I don't think people will uh, even look at me. I don't, I, I don't think people will actually value my opinion, my suggestion. Then you do not, I mean, you're not having that deservedness. Eh? Uh, universe also, I mean, you are having doubts. That is what will come back from the outside world. Uh, people will start to doubt you, etc. And then learn to use your energy wisely. Again, guided meditations are there on both the days. And then redefine your avatar, meaning... Yeah, I think I missed this point. So when you are decorating yourself, uh, decorating your house, you also decorate yourself. Internally, what is the decoration? Internally, do you decorate with new virtues, with new habits, with new thoughts, with new feelings? That is what is redefining your avatar means. You adorn yourself. See, you adorn your body with jewelry. You feel good. Nothing wrong. I was against all of this. I was anti all of this, but you need not go through that journey where, okay, okay, if I have to be this way, I should leave that. No, outside is important. Inside also is important. So uh, there was there were many years, as I told you, more than six to seven years where I was against clothes, jewelry, and all of that. Uh, so yeah, coming back, you adorn your inside with new virtues, new characteristics, new habits, the way you look at yourself, new perspectives. That comes in redefining your avatar, which I will help you to do that and then uh, steps to manifest your desires again i can uh, yeah, i'll take you through exercises where you increase your deservedness how uh, some kind of law of attraction exercises where you uh, i mean you have to do the outer work also and this is the inner work that i have to i'm teaching you right so outer work meaning maybe you have to speak to people you have to learn something new yeah, whatever it is whatever your desire was right so when i for me when things came into reality i put a lot of outer work lot of inner work both of them are important right so when i'm just putting in the outer work and i'm thinking i'm doing so much but i'm not getting anything in return it doesn't help that, that is where inner work lacks so in this i'm going to cover what is the inner work and what is the outer work and then the divine prayer yes the it's also a guided prayer where uh, how you pray what you pray, how do you communicate with the universe that's the whole thing right so yeah, all of you, uh, any questions from about what you will get in the two days? Anything that you'd like to share? You can just unmute and yeah. you can just unmute and share. So was this helpful? Anything that you learned today in this session? You can just quickly unmute and share. Yeah. Yeah, share Archana. Yes. So the yeah. So this will be conducted the coming weekend. That is twenty second and twenty third. Uh, again, that's a weekend just before festival. So 
you might be busy with shopping or doing stuff for cleaning uh, cleaning around during the day so i think uh, morning times would be better for all of us where it's a weekend and the other family members might wake up a little late and then after they wake up maybe their day is gets busy with uh, shopping or doing some stuff for the festival so morning times uh, 6 to uh, 6 to 6 am to 9 am is what i have in mind 22nd and 23rd 6 am to 9 am on both the days yes uh, so if you are ready if you if i can tell you the energy exchange just type out pg pg is again permission granted yeah just type out pg in the chat box yes yeah i will be sure yeah so the cost of this workshop will be a very deep again we will be going deeper into each of these concepts the cost of this workshop is 888888 a fraction of how much we actually sell, uh, spend on any festival read whatever it is that we are doing triple eight for two days six hours or more than six hours you know i will be going overboard anyways yeah and a deeper exercise and lifetime access you will have the recording so so actually what i do you know every festival i go back to my practices in inner, inner practices so actually you can make use of the recording to keep getting back to it every time there is a festival every time there is a celebration birthdays are very important thing <coughs> how you celebrate your birthdays also is important so every birthday and every festival i go back to my inner uh, journey so you can keep the uh, keep the recording uh, for your um, entire i mean for your for, uh, there is a lifetime access for this recording so triple eight for uh, two days and there is 10% off for beyond parenting academy inner circle members so i know there are uh, other members also who wanted to join so it is 10 it is triple 7 for them and a triple 8 for outside people so i will be sharing the upi id if you believe that this is for you if you believe that you want to really work on your inner self like actually uh, i mean actually celebrate festival in the true way see earlier we didn't have so much big houses to even celebrate like 50 years back 100 years back all they did was just sit and celebrate their inner self do meditation do puja a uh, puja meaning real meaning of prayer they didn't have so many dishes to cook i mean so many ingredients and all of that whatever was uh, growing on the outside their house in the farmland they just took that they cooked that offered prasad and now we i mean we have lavish uh, i mean uh, dishes and all of that sarees uh, clothes decoration items even for houses everything is going amazing i mean everything has improved everything has increased from the way it was 50 years back or 100 years back but are we improving are we increasing the inner celebration that is a whole point so i will be sharing the upi uh, id or the qr scan code in the group just a question are you there in the beyond parenting updates group on telegram are you there in the telegram group i will be putting the upi id there um if you would like to come in if you would like to get in i just put the upi id here but in the group i will be putting putting the scan there the scanner there you can make the payment and uh, invite yourself to this workshop i am inviting you to this workshop yes thank you very much once again any questions please feel free to ask any doubts so, anything yeah, to... actually i was out of the telegram group uh, uh, that app got deleted from my phone so uh, like okay. if i just install it uh, will i be able to like get back yeah, to the group just install also you will be in the group otherwise i will also send you the link and anyways i also pinged in the chat box the upi id uh, otherwise you can just ping me over whatsapp or anything i'll share you the qr code scanner code yeah so anything that uh, any questions anything that you like to share just one minute for that and then maybe we can wind up uh, gratitude to you thank you to you for taking the time and listening to this and the whole point is putting this into practice and uh, the techniques the uh, exercises the worksheets all of that will churning uh, will be churning your inside stuff so that your outside is refined yes so thank you have a nice day have a nice sunday and looking forward to meeting you in the upcoming workshop yeah all good if everything is good just type out ag in the chat box i'll just have some acknowledgement ag is all is good uh so yeah yeah viraj please tell me yeah actually for me the timings would be a bit uh, dicey because for your mornings would be early evenings for me so yeah you said uh, we'll be rec receiving the recordings also 
yes. so yeah i can try and join those two days because there are i see some already there are some commitments for okay. those two evenings so i want to join it but yeah i mean the recordings are also available that will be really good yes, so yes, i can yes. join and yeah, yeah. yes okay because okay so yeah, i'll, I'll yeah. catch you on chat yeah yeah, yeah thank sure. you so okay. yeah thank you so i will be giving you the recording link and it will be there it will be always be there so you can um, watch it you can keep coming back to it that is also important it is not just about doing it once and forgetting it right so there is a process which we have to go through every birthday and every festival so maybe in some other time um, um, i can go deep into birthdays also but uh, that is very important the inner celebration the inner presence the inner awareness is more important yes <laughs> So sorry for that, and thank you for your time. Thank you very much, very much. Uh, I appreciate whatever uh, time that you've spent, energy that you've spent in this workshop. So looking forward to um, more interaction. Thank you. Bye bye.